Hi everyone, this is Professor Bowen Moore. On this video, I'm gonna talk about the pen tool um, and some of the freehand tool um, options that you have here. The pen tool and the pencil tool mainly, the pencil tool is completely freehand. Um, but the pen tool has several options here. Um, if I hold, um, click and hold the pen tool, you'll see I've got the pen tool, I've got add anchor point, delete anchor point, and convert direction point tool. So they all have their purpose, and I'll show you what those are. Um, now, the regular pen tool is going to give me, initially, my cursor is going to have an asterisk by it, which means it's ready to create a path. Um, so to create an angular shape, um, it basically creates angular shapes and curved arched shapes or circular type shapes. Um, so if I want an angular shape, I can just click and move my mouse and click again. And that's where the next anchor point will be. So this one's pretty self-explanatory and easy to work with. So let's say I want to enclose the shape. I can uh, click on the original anchor point where I started and it'll enclose the shape. And then I can fill this, fill this shape with color um, or what have you. Um, now, if I want a circular shape, it's a little bit different. And it, this one takes a little more practice. Um, but to create an arched or curved shape, I'll click and hold the mouse down, move in the direction that I want it to go, and then let up, and then click again, it's going to create an arched shape to that location. So again, I'm holding it down, clicking and dragging, then I let up, click and drag again. And you'll see these little handlebars. I'll show you what those do in just a second. So I'm just leading it back around. And again, when I click on the original anchor point, it will enclose that shape. Um, when I go um, back to my, I have to click on my selection tools in order to move these handlebars or manipulate these angles. So I would use the direct select tool for that. Um, this would allow me to you know, these handlebars make your um, arches more acute or not. If I slide them inward, um, if I turn them, I can also manipulate the, the arch of the shape there. So every anchor point will have one of those so that you can kind of work with that a little more. But like I said, this one's a little bit more tricky. It takes a little practice to learn how to use this one effectively if you're freehanding <laughs> these shapes. Um, in other words, it's pretty hard to create a perfect circle using the, the pen tool here. <laughs> but um, that's the difference in how to use them. So again, with the angular shapes, you would just click and move your mouse and click again. With the circular shapes, um, you would click and drag and then release, click and drag. So you would hold the mouse down. Is that's kind of the difference. Um, the something else that let me go back here. I'm Command Z to undo. Let's start over here. So something else that um, I want to show you um, is the add anchor point and delete anchor point tool. So let's say I have a shape. I'm going to do a rectangle here. And I'm going to come, I'm going to op shift and do a perfect square. So let's say I want a point or a pentagon shape, but I don't have an anchor point here in the middle. So I can go to my add anchor point and your shortcut for that, um, for the add and delete anchor points is your, your plus sign and your minus um, key. So I could also just click on the plus sign to give me the add anchor point. And so what I can do now is go on along the side of the shape that I've created and anywhere along that point I can create, I can click and it's creating an extra anchor point here. So what that means is now I can go back to my direct select tool, click off the object back and hover back on it, grab that anchor point. And now I have an anchor point to, to move to create that pentagon shape. So that's another thing that um, 
that it does for you. Um, now, if I want to delete an anchor point, let's say I wanted to delete this anchor point, I would go to my minus key, or I could go over to the toolbox and go to my delete anchor point tool. And I can click on it and it deletes that anchor point. So this comes in handy too. Like say I wanted a triangle, you don't really have a triangle tool or shape here. So I could just delete an anchor point along a four-sided um, object and create a three-sided object. And then go back to my direct select tool and manipulate that. So if I wanted it more equilateral, I could manipulate and move one of those anchor points to make it more equilateral. So that's the delete and add anchor point tools with the pen tool options. Um, the last tool in this toolbox is the convert direction point tool. So basically what this does is it changes. So right here, I have an angled object. Um, what the convert is going to do, if I have an angled, it's gonna convert it to an arch. Um, if it's an arch, it's gonna convert it to an angle. So it's gonna do whatever the opposite is to that. So if I click on this anchor point and I go back to my direct select tool, you can see it's still a point, but if I go to the convert anchor point, now I can turn it into an arch instead of a point or an, you know, an angular corner. So it's gonna do the opposite of what it's giving you. If I have an arch here and I go back and I can make it turn it into a point again. So that's basically what that tool does. Now, the other freehand tool that's completely freehand is the pencil tool, and it is basically what it is. As I go, you can see it's creating anchor points along that path. I'm very, this is going to be pretty messy here because <laughs> I'm totally freehanding on my trackpad with my finger. Um, but as you can see, it's just going to draw a line wherever I draw. And so if and along the way, you're going to have these anchor points. Again, the direct select tool allows me to manipulate those individual anchor points. So if I want to bring my arch down or expand it a little bit, I can do that with all these anchor points. Or if there's too many, I can click the minus key, go to my delete anchor point, and it will delete some of these. So you have a lot of options here with some of these basic tools here in your toolbox. Um, but that is the pin tool and some of its capabilities and the pencil tool.